Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a really cool feature in Bloons Tower Defense 6. And all of my Bloons experience from before came from Bloons Monkey City. And when I was playing, I don't believe this was an option. But if you go to the daily challenge and up in the right hand corner, you see there's an option for a challenge editor. And what this lets you do is it lets you make your own challenges. And once you make a challenge, it'll give you a, well, once you make a challenge and then you play through the challenge once. And then what it does is it gives you a code and other people can use this code to play your map. So what I wanted to do in this video is I'm going to work my way through creating a, a challenge map and then I'm going to play through the challenge map. And if you look sort of on the left hand side toward the toward the bottom, you see there's like a little orange dot. The orange dot is the screen capture program I'm using. And so what I'm going to do to give you the actual simulation or show exactly how it is doing this on a phone because I'm recording all of this on my cell phone because I play Bloons Tower Defense on my phone. I'm going to pause it repeat I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to sit there and watch me play through all the different levels of the map when I do the test. So if you want to create a challenge though, you go to create challenge and then you just go to edit challenge. And so what I want to do, I've been thinking about it. My challenge is going to be called I'm on a boat or sub. All right. So give your challenge a name. And for this first test, I'm going to change the difficulty to easy. Because what I want to do is I want to try and find a way where you have, like, the, the map has the right difficulty. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with easy. And the first version I'm going to try is going to be a standard level 1 through 40. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you hit the, oh, by the way, if you hit the small plus sign beside the map, it'll let you select a different map. And because I'm doing a boat map, I want to do this one. So we're using the Spice Islands. And the game mode is going to be standard. And we're going to do default starting lives, default cash, default max lives. The starting round is going to be the default, which would be 1. And the ending round is going to be 40. So this is going to be almost exactly like an easy map. Now, after you select these things, and you can set the starting round too. I think what I may do for one of these video, for one of these test maps, is figure out how much money you make, like up through level 20, and then start at level 20 so you can sort of set up and save some of that time. Now, if you look on the bottom left-hand corner, there's a little kind of a green monkey button with a plus, and this lets you add or remove monkeys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that monkey, maybe? Or maybe there's not monkey, no monkeys selected. There we go. So I got rid of... I'm going to include Quincy. And then I'm going to... Am I not seeing them? Oh, yeah, they're right here. I'm going to include the sub and the buccaneer. And I'm going to include... I'm going to include this, the, the monkey town, or the monkey village. Now, if you look, for each of the different monkeys, there's, in the upper left-hand corner of their little icon, you see there's a blue infinity symbol, and then there's a plus or minus button. And so what you can do is you can select how many monkeys of each type are allowed for the map. And so what I'm going to do for my first test is I'm going to allow as many subs as many buccaneers and as many villages as are wanted. And these will be the only monkeys that are usable on the map. Now, there are other settings down here too. Like you can increase the balloon speed. You can increase it up to 500%. And if you want to, if you mess with this and then you decide you want to set it back to the default, you just hit the little sort of blue circle arrow. You can set your Moab speed, ceramic and Moab health, that kind of stuff. I'll leave those the same for now. You can also select, like, say, if you want to allow or disallow monkey powers, monkey knowledge, selling monkeys, etc. And I'm going to just leave that as the default. All right. So after you do that, then what you got to do 
is you got to play a new game and play through the map you designed. And so I'm going to start this game. And then, again, you have the options on the left-hand side. Now, what I'm going to do to not subject you all to, have me, to watch me do it is I'm going to pause this game. I'm, I'm going to pause this, the video recording. And then I'll check in periodically as I go through and give you updates. And once I get to the end, I'll show you how you share the actual map. So I'm going to pause it now. Okay. As you can see, the map is progressing not too bad. Uh, there's nothing really earth-shattering going on about what I'm doing. I've just kind of been making subs and setting the subs up so they'll blow things up as they come on the screen. So not a super challenging map unless this last one gets me. Unless the last um, blimp does me in, which I kind of don't think it will. Yeah, it didn't. Okay, so that's not bad. And again, once you finish your map, you just hit home. And it'll return you to the Create Challenge screen. And if you want to share the map, all you do is you push the Share button. And it generates a code for you. And the code is what you need. And in this case, the code is R Z Y H O T G. And all you gotta do is, and I'm gonna submit this as an easy difficulty. So all you gotta do, oh by the way, whenever you create one of these things, you also can you also submit it, you can submit it to um I forgot the company that makes Bloons Monkey City now. Anyway, so if you want to, if you want to say, for example, play that later, all you do is you go to Play Challenge, and you can hit Enter Code, and it'll enter the code. It'll enter the code. Well, you enter the code here, and it'll let you play that map. It'll let somebody else play that map. So, if you want to try that map out. All you got to do is enter the code, and I'll include the code in the description for the video, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like a super difficult challenge to me. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with that some more and see if I can make it a little more complicated and interesting, but that is how you make a challenge. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments. And if you have any cool challenges that you've created and you want to share them with me or anybody else watching the video, also you can leave those codes in the comments and I'll check them out. Anyway, thank you and I hope you all have an excellent day. Oh, by the way, and this is how you stop recording.